Astronomy students, this is Mr. Stockbridge. We're interrupting chore time here at Stockbridge Farms to give you a quick video on how to do the sunsets or sunrise observations. So you can see that we've got the western horizon over here and the sun just off that way. What you're going to do to take this measurement, this project is designed around one key aspect you always need to be standing and taking your measurements from the same exact location every night. So I'm standing here next to one of our fruit trees. Ideally, I would go ahead and just drive a stake in the ground or something, or I'd be standing on something that wouldn't move, and I'll always take my measurements from that spot. Now, to make this easier without blinding yourself, because you're not supposed to look at the sun, what you'll want to utilize is some type of filter. Sunglasses are not enough. These are just little pieces of welder's glass. Uh, this one is a number five density and this is a number nine density. The higher the number, the more light it blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to block the light from the sun with the filter. And then I'm going to stand here while I'm blocking it and I can see where the sun is on the horizon through the filter. I'm going to take a compass measurement of exactly where the sun is hitting the horizon. It's a little it's a little tricky, so sometimes I'll do this. That way there I don't accidentally catch any glare. So you're going to get your compass bearing and then you'll also need to record the exact time that the sun sets. You can decide if you want to measure from when the bottom of the sun first hits the horizon or when the last part disappears. Either way is fine, but you need to be consistent and do it the same way each time. So for example, the sun is just now hitting the horizon, the bottom of it. It's hitting the horizon, so I'm taking my measurement. I'm right around 284 degrees azimuth on the compass today. I'll note the time. We'll just call that 7.39. Well, the whole minute is fine. You need to do th this measurement simply once a week for the amount of time described in the project description online. So that's all there is to it. If you need any help or have questions, please feel free to ask.